Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I want to show you one of my favorite bundles from the annual catalog today. I got to play with the color and contour bundle. It includes the scallop contours dies and the color and contour stamp set. And I love this set. I feel like it marries the perfect amount of old Stampin' Up! with new Stampin' Up! It just has the look of some of the stamp sets we've had in the past, but it's a two-step stamping set, so you can put in different colors inside your image. But I love the sentiments and the font that they're in, and it's also a photopolymer stamp set, so it makes it really, really easy to stamp with. I, I just enjoy a photopolymer stamp set. Now, these dies are beautiful. They've got a couple of the image here they've got some of the flowers so that you can um, cut out those but it has this really cute border and then it has all of these really fun little scalloped layers that you can cut out too this is a great great die set to have you can use it in a lot of different ways so when i started creating with this set I love to grab a designer series paper and get color inspiration from them. This color inspiration right here comes from our hand penned designer series paper. Beautiful. It's kind of floral. It's really feminine. I just really, really love it. It's kind of watercolored, like drawn with watercolored. But here are the colors that are included in this set. So when I create, I like to pull from the same colors that I'm using in the designer series paper. So I came up with a bunch of cards, loved them all, and I showed them to Aubrey and she said, but Beth, we have, it's fall right now and we have events coming up. We need more like fall inspired cards. And I was like, darn, I guess we really can't use like this pretty pool party color and pale papaya and make it look fall. It was beautiful for the spring, but we wanted to make it look a little more fall. So I grabbed then the Beauty of the Earth designer series paper, which is also very, very beautiful. It on one side is very, very watercolor and the other is more like a monochromatic. Um, and so the, here's the color inspiration within this designer series paper that I was pulling from. So it was interesting to me when I looked at Beauty of the Earth designer series paper, some of the colors were the same, like cinnamon ciders in there and repeated, um, misty moonlights in there and repeated. And so, but I pulled from this color scheme to create some new cards and I made the exact same cards. I just changed the colors and I wanted to show you what that looked like, how different the cards look, even though the layout is the same, I use the same dies. I just changed the colors and the designer series paper. So here was my first card I made. So very happy for you. So cute and springy. I use that big die to cut out that designer series paper so it gave it this really pretty scalloped like little lattice edge. And then I took it and I remade it using that other designer series paper in more of a fall color scheme. So same layout, just different designer series paper and different colors. Really simple, that card. Here was the next one. It's got a little more stamping. Here for you now and in better days ahead. And then I took and I changed it and used different ribbon different designer series paper and different color scheme. But you've got your spring and your fall. So cute. Here's one more with a lot more stamping. Thank you for everything with our bright Daffodil Delight. And all I changed on this one was just changing out the Daffodil Delight for Mary Merlot. And it gave it just more of a fall feeling instead of doing the bright, bright. So easy. And finally, this is my favorite. I loved this card. This was the first one I made when I was creating these cards. And I love this detail that this die makes. You're absolutely amazing. But then I took it and I used the fall colors and remade it using Mary Merlot and some early espresso designer series paper. And I thought it turned out so pretty. What I wanted to do with this video was just show you that there's versatility with so many stamp sets and dies. Sometimes we get one and we think it's just for one season, but just by making small changes with colors or designer series paper, we can use our stamp sets and die sets all year round. And they still turn out really cute and really fun. So I would challenge you to grab a stamp set that you've designated for one season and play with it today and see if you can come up with something out of the box and different. I bet you can. Stampin' Up! has so many great products that can be used in multitude different ways, and I think you can figure out something great. 
Um, if you guys want to see more things that we share, you can always follow us on our Facebook page. We have a group called the Stamping Jill VIP group, and we'd love to have you join us there. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.